Hi everyone and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader. Now this week we do have one of my absolute favorite fossils ever. But before we do get into it, I do have to put a little bit of a disclaimer at the start of this video. This is going to be our most um, <clears throat> controversial video yet. Now the reason this is controversial is because whether or not this is its own species of dinosaur is hotly debated. But we're going to get into that a little later. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is this is Stiggy Moloch. Stiggy Moloch was a pachycephalosaurid from the late Cretaceous. Now pachycephalosaurid is one of the most fun words to say in general, to tell your friends. But what we've got here is pretty much the entire skull right here and it's laid out roughly as it would be. Now let's look a little closer at it and see some cooler features. Stiggy Moloch, being a pachycephalosaurid, has this really well pronounced dome and it's really distinct. People used to think that they would headbutt each other. That whether or not they did that is a topic for another video. Something I want to point out here is that this individual right here had what looks to be some sort of fungal bone infection. And that not only was in the head, but it also had something in one of its horns here, as you can see. Now, the crazy thing is, this is not how this horn is supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this. So something definitely happened here. So our main reason for saying that we think that Stiggy Moloch is a different species from Pachycephalosaurus has to do with these bones right here. So here we've got the squamosal, the other squamosal, separated by the supraoccipital. Now what we're trying to say here is that those two squamosals don't touch. They're separated by a bone, which is different than Pachycephalosaurus where they're touching. So there's no amount of change that can happen throughout adulthood that would change that feature. So that's why we think they are different species. Well, those are our thoughts on Stiggy Moloch, but what do you guys think? Do you think it's its own species, or do you think it's a juvenile of another species? Let us know down in the comments. Now, whether you guys want to follow the evidence and you agree with us, or you have a differing opinion, please let us know. But thank you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we're going to see you next time.